Picker Hollow. Beautiful shady area. Creek still running nice. Beautiful woods. Grab our stuff out of the truck and get it set up. Well, we're dead in the water, or dead on the bank, whatever you want to consider it. But I need oil for the pump. I believe that's what I need. It won't stay running, so I'm going to say it's oil. But waiting for my cousin to come save us, basically. He'll be here in about 20 minutes. So I think I'm going to do that pan right there, which is right from down there. On the other side, you see that green hose there. I dug out a hole for my foot valve with the water pump and put it in that pan. Well, I'm gonna pan it out and see if there's any gold down there. And then hopefully by that time he'll be here and we can get up and running. See the kids down there playing. Not really sure what they're doing, but they're not bugging me, so woohoo! Close. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. But we're all going to sit here and hang out and then we'll get up and running here shortly. One thing I do want to say is uh, on this trip that we're doing right now, we are going to run four times and we're going to have all four times will be each different set of cons that I'm going to take to flash bash and I will add a picker into each one of the bags and give four lucky people a chance to have a picker hollow experience at flash bash next weekend and if you guys don't know what flash bash is it's um compliments of ed marvin flash in your pan productions uh jesse mandez and dano they are a great group of, group of guys and they are hosting an outing this is our second year for it and i'm gonna do what i can to contribute till then we'll see you here in a little bit all right, well, we got her up and running. Caitlin's over there doing some dredging. I've already done one run. She took the kids to the house for dinner, or lunch, I should say. Brought me back my lunch. Yay. But she's dredging right here. This is the root system right here. She's dredging right up at the front, and I was shoveling this area right back here. All the way up to about this tree. And I got one clean out in the bucket up there for the tub. Gonna keep going, run for about another hour, do another clean out, and then uh, go from there. We'll bring it back online here shortly. Okay, so this is a little hole I've been dredging. Kind of broke through the rocks right there. I got all this out of there. Let's go take a peek at what Chris is doing. All right. So, what's kind of material we got? A lot of black sands up there. All right. So this is our second run. Halfway about halfway through, through it. We're just gonna pan out what's underneath the punch plate. See what kind of gold we're getting. Make sure we're still on the gold. True. Let's see that black sand showing up. Big glare. 
There we go, perfect. On oh, shiny. Not seeing anything. There's oh, a piece. There's a piece. There we go. Let's see it now. Oh. Hmm. We might have to move. Yeah. I just washed it. <laughs> you can see that one one little piece there. No, I'm just because the, the first one out. Put think. the water back over it for you. There oh, we go. It floated away. <laughs> it's a floater. There it is. Yeah. Yes. But we'll uh we'll keep running. We will get the uh second half of this run done and do another clean out, set it aside. That way we can concentrate it down, put it in a bag for next weekend. We'll be back here shortly. All right. Tell me Picker Hollow isn't just a beautiful place. Get back to work. I don't feed you for you to stand around and try to dry your sleeves, okay? I feed you to mine. Well, it happens. Get over it. Get back to digging. Running a lot of clay stuff today. Kind of see that down there. That was a big scoop. That was a great scoop. <laughs> Let's see if this one's any better. Jeez, don't shovel the dredge nozzle. Well, those are girl shovels. I guess that's okay. All right. Well. Let's go ahead and shut down and take a look at the box. See what we got going on. They're like the same size as the Some good material in there. Uh, we'll clean her all the way out and nice piece. Nice piece. That's nice. Awesome. All right. Well, we're gonna clean it out and do our next run. All right. Well, Caitlin's working on getting miner's moss and bee matting out of there so we can see what we're getting. We uh, have done this whole area 
all the way up to this tree here and kind of a little bit behind it today. It's kind of been the area we worked, which is pretty much the same area we've been working the past few videos, but a little deeper, a lot harder. We're in a bunch of clay right now and it's filled with material. So we're trying to get it ran through and see what all we can get. All right, guys. Well, we are packing stuff up. Kevin's back here wrapping the hoses up. But beautiful creek. You see our pile right, right there. That's our pile of uh, rock that we dug today. And then we did this whole area right down here. I guess you guys can't see very well. We did that area. Um, we, we did a couple looks under the, um, punch plate, miners mossing, V-mat up at the top just to make sure we were on the gold, but we do not know how much gold we actually got today. We will not know. Uh, sorry, I dropped you guys. You guys almost went in the water. I'm coming to get you. I found you. All right. I got you back. Let me, let me climb back up this little hill here. But, uh, as I was saying, is we, we will not know how much gold is in what we got today because we are going to put them into con bags and uh, donate them to Flash In Your Pan's uh, Flash Bash next weekend. So, uh, if any of those guys are watching this video good luck to you guys and uh, let me know what you guys get in them I'd really like to see what's there all right well we're done with this trip we uh, we moved a good amount of dirt no I'm not looking at her boobs but I will later uh, <laughs> we are done for the day we got shovels right here to take but uh, just wanted to thank you guys for coming along this trip and make sure you guys are being safe and having fun all at the same time. I mean, that's all God ever wants anybody to do. So be safe, have a golden day, and we'll see you next time. Peace.